So how is it going guys and welcome back to another Fallout 4 video and the Wasteland Workshop DLC trailer was just released earlier on today. So in this video I'm going to be doing a little bit of a breakdown of the trailer going into a little bit more depth and kind of analyzing a few things for you guys to kind of give off a little bit more info about what we know about this DLC so far. Now if you do want to check out the trailer for yourself in its entirety without the breakdown you can feel free to do so there will be a link down in the description down below and for those wondering about the release date it's going to be released on April the 12th so only seven days away now uh, until we will get the Wasteland Workshop DLC. But anyway let's jump straight into the trailer breakdown. A few days out in the wasteland and it's time to kick back at home. My home. Made my way. So in the opening segment of the trailer, you know, the start of it is just sort of generic gameplay uh, to sort of match it with the theme until we get to this specific scene here where we get our first glimpse of some of the new stuff. One of the main things that sort of stands out to me the most from here is our first look at the brand new concrete buildable structures. You're going to be seeing a lot more of that uh, throughout the trailer, but there is brand new concrete buildable structures in the game, so you can build your own concrete houses now. Uh, it does require both concrete and steel, I do believe. Uh, you can see here as well from this specific scene a bunch of the new lighting options that we are going to be getting from some of the brand new wall mounted lights to the lights outside. And once again, you'll be seeing a bunch more of that throughout the trailer. One thing about humans, we keep trying to destroy this planet. And the planet just won't let us. Life always finds a way. Time to use this century's advanced technology to my own advantage. To hell with all this radiation. So in this next segment, we have a lot of things to talk about. And let's take it back to the beginning of the segment uh, where we get our first look at the brand new garden plots. You can see here by the gameplay in the background, these do require both wood and one fertilizer. And you can plant these seemingly anywhere around your settlement. You can plant them in houses and in secluded areas, uh, which is pretty awesome in terms of management around your settlement. Each garden plot offers four usable slots in which you can plant any of your food resources in, and in general is a pretty awesome addition to Fallout 4. Now next up we have something pretty juicy and this is the decontamination arc. You can see here by the gameplay, uh, this is one of the brand new buildable things in your settlement and what this actually does is it clears your radiation. So I imagine that this will definitely be better for, uh, served purposely at least uh, on the brand new survivor mode where radiation and using things like right away can really affect you uh, health wise. But you can see here this thing looks pretty damn awesome. I mean he simply pushes a button, walks straight through and gets his rads cleared. One thing I do want to point out here is this is powered with what seems to be a fusion core generator you can see right there in the gameplay background of course uh, there is a big you know huge generator there which is powered by a fusion core now this sparks a lot of questions we spotted this in the, i think the last time i actually broke down the images uh, this was also spotted there as well and at the time a lot of people believe this would be a new way to power your settlement and i have to say from this brand new scene i think that's going to be the case the fact that it's powering the decontamination arc um, maybe it will only power certain things, but I don't know, you know, personally I think that this is going to be a brand new way to power your settlements in much more of an efficient way uh, rather than having all of these generators scattered around your settlements. Nothing says home like corrugated metal and loose live wires. Hey, it's comfortable. Never said it was safe. Look, I don't always play by the rules, but mostly because out here in the Commonwealth, there are no rules. Again, in this segment, there is a lot of things to look at here. Taking it back to the beginning, we get a further in-depth look at concrete structures again. You can see here the guy is actually building uh, a concrete structure from concrete walls to concrete floors, foundations. You can see here in the bottom as well, there's concrete stairs and stuff. Just a little bit of a more in-depth look there. You can also see the interior as well. And then we move on to where it actually properly goes inside of the interior where you can see some elevated platforms. It seems as like, you know, it's, it's almost making his own sort of throne room uh, within this, which is pretty damn awesome there. There's also a couple of things to point out in this room. Uh, you can see some of the brand new wall mounts, which we're going to be getting, which you can, you'll see a lot more as well towards the end of the trailer. 
uh, throughout this big room. Uh, there's a, a chest there which says guns on it. There's a chest to the left as well which says stuff on it. Just a couple of things to point out there. But uh, moving on again, we have, of course, the brand new traps. There's three in total we get a look at here. The first one being the spring trap. The second one being the sword blade trap, uh, which you actually get to see a gameplay glimpse of this here as well. And then the third one is the pressure plated spiked trap. Uh, where essentially, you know, you step on it and, you know, of course, you know, the pressure plates, so the spikes will then go up into your feet. And the sort of vibe I get from this is that you can make some form of a death maze and use your captured raiders, because by the way, you can actually capture raiders and try and send them through it or something. That's sort of the vibe that I get from the trailer uh, from this specific clip. Whether or not that will be a thing is yet to be known. It just sort of seems that way to me. But either way, those are the brand new traps that you can, of course, place down with the Wasteland Workshop DLC. In this harsh new world, you may not be able to stop the nightmares, but you can control them. She cussed and cried and said I'd lied and she wished that I was dead. What? So, maybe I get lonely sometimes. Capturing them is fun, but letting them out? Hell yeah. That's right. Entertain me. Sometimes it feels like everything in the Commonwealth wants to kill you. So taking us back to the beginning of this segment again, we get our first glimpse of some of the brand new cages used to capture and hold some of the creatures around the wasteland. You can see here as well at the bottom section there's a bunch of different ones, seemingly ordered probably by size and stuff. Uh, the one that this guy is actually placing down is the Mylert cage. You can also see when he opens his up, this Mylert King is ready to mess your shit up. Unless, however, you have the brand new Beta Wave emitter place down. Now, to place this down, you can see here it does actually require quite a few resources to actually, you know, place down. It also requires Animal Friend Rank 1 as well as Wasteland Whispers Rank 1 uh, to actually use this. Now, you can see here as well the description states, Creatures released from cages while this is turned on will be non-aggressive to you and your settlements. So this pretty much means when you have a Beta Wave emitter down, you can have creatures roam your settlements and be completely friendly to you and your settlers, which is absolutely insane. That is going to be so great to actually mess around with, having huge death claws just roam around your settlements, completely tamed and stuff. Uh, you can see here as well, there's even small cages for cats and dogs. And now uh, you can see here as well, he does pull the lever and a cat comes out. So some pretty damn interesting and awesome stuff going on here. I really can't wait to get my hands on this and kind of experience all of it uh, for myself on April the 12th. And moving on to the next sort of clip here, we have, of course, the scene with the Death Claw that comes out to fight against Preston. Now, this one's quite interesting because this is the one uh, where we actually got to see from the images, I do believe. This is where one of the screenshots was taken. There is a Beta Wave and Meta place down there. I'm not entirely sure what's going on with that. Uh, you can see the live Death Claw fight, a kind of lit up sign that you can also place down. Uh, on the side of the wall there. What also seems to be a stand-up lantern, one of these brand new items presumably coming, uh, which you can also place down as well. And then for the rest of the scene, it's just Preston getting kind of wrecked by a death claw in a cage. Are they threats? Nah. Decorations. I never was the type to want my name up in lights. Sometimes you just need to advertise. And now for the final few segments, we get to see a hallway filled with head mounts of creatures around the ways. And you get to see a Yaogwai there, Death Claws, a bunch of different crazy looking kind of head mounts there that of course uh, will be brand new with the Wasteland Workshop DLC. And then for the final kind of segment, we get to see a bunch of the new lighting kits available in action with the Wasteland Workshop kind of little sign there, as you guys can see by the gameplay. Something else to mention from the open sign there, you guys can see, uh, that is also something that's going to be available from when you're actually inside of your workshop, something I forgot to mention uh, previously in this exact clip here, uh, you can see that in action in the bottom right hand corner there. So that is pretty much it. That's my little bit of a breakdown on the trailer. I am aware there's probably things that I've missed if I have. Uh, be sure to let me know a few things down in the comment section down below. And let me know what you guys think of this. I'm genuinely intrigued as to what you guys think. I've seen a lot of people complaining, but this DLC is only $5. I mean, it's kind of more than I expected it to be from the trader alone, just for the fact that it's $5 and it's a very, very cheap uh, DLC. 
Also quickly mention, there's going to be no quest line within this whatsoever, just for those of you wondering, because it is sort of like a wasteland sort of workshop edition, of course. Uh, but either way, the brand new big, big, big DLC expansion uh, is not too far away now either. Next month, Far Harbor is going to be dropping, and uh, that is single-handedly the biggest landmass expansion double threads that have ever dropped. So for those of you out there who are looking for a bigger expansion, and of course are looking for, you know, quest lines and stuff like that, for Harbour really isn't too far away. But anyway, hope you did enjoy today's video. If you did, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And be sure to check out Top 5 Central as well. This is a channel that I'm working on with a few friends, but we upload Top 5s daily over there. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys next time with a brand new video. Peace out.